स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम एंड यू आर डूइंग योर स्टडी विथ योर बेस्ट एफिशिएंसी टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट स्टोरी फ्रॉम लॉस प्रिंग लेसन टाइटल इज आई वॉन्ट टू ड्राइव so here uh, in this i want to drive a car mukesh insist on being his own master so in the earlier title so what it reflected it was concerned with the garbage and ending of the earlier story here saheb is no longer his own master Sahib would be only the servant. He may not become the owner or the master. But here, Mukesh insists on being his own master. So this is the difference which we are observing in two characters. And here, new character it is of Mukesh character. This character is focusing on his own. abilities this character mukesh character is focusing on self reliance that is very important so mukesh insists on being his own master he want to start here what i will be a motor mechanic he announces so in this mukesh boy he is also belonging to poor family from bengal makers but he was thinking about his own business so here because of that in the beginning itself it is here mentioned that mukesh insist on being his own master i will be a motor mechanic he announces do you know anything about cars i ask so he was belonging to the poor or grandy or these type of families so here narrator is asking that do you know anything about cars i ask i will learn to drive a car and here willingness is expressed in this statement that i will learn to drive a car if i don't know anything about that but i will learn everything about that he answers looking straight into my eyes his dream looms like a mirage amidst the dust dust of street that fill his town zeros up so here we can observe one important thing that it was uh, like illusion for him because he was from such a family where generation by generation they were doing the bangle making their business is bangle making and this mukesh boy is thinking differently so here uh, it is uh, expressed as like a mirage from his the dust of streets so here it is like a illusion famous for its bangles the every other family in firozabad is engaged in making bangles so most of them uh, they were doing the same business that is uh, bangle making it is the center of india's class uh blowing industry where families have spent generations working around for nurses welding glass making bangles for all the uh, women in the lands of sea so here we can understand through this that generation by generation most of the families they are doing uh, bangle making means it is their business and this mukesh character belongs to such type of uh, family traditionally they are doing by generation by generation their forefather is also doing the same means grandparents parents and now uh, it would be expected from the society that he will also join the same profession and they will again do that same business but mukesh is a different boy and mukesh is stating that i wish to uh, become the motor mechanic then uh, mukesh family here uh, narrator is uh, again providing a 
us more information about Mukesh family. Mukesh family is among them. None of them know that uh, it is illegal for children like him to work in the glass furnaces with high temperatures in Hickey cells without air and light. That's the law. If enforced, could get him all uh, those 20,000 children out of what furnaces where they slog their daylight hours, often losing the brightness of their eyes. So here, all these lines reflecting that they are doing is here in their own business like a child labor. It is illegal to work, means to give work to the children in such type of place, means the furnaces. Here it is reflected high temperature, dingy cells means gloomy and very uh, adverse situation where all the children they are working and it is dangerous for their eyesight also. They would become blind in early age. So such type of fear and how many year? 20,000 children they are working in that area and that is illegal. By law, it is not permitted to do like that. But here, generation by generation, all they are involved in that. So, all the children, they are also doing uh, or they are also helping their parents. Then, Mukesh eyes beam as uh, he volunteers to uh, take me home, which he proudly says is being rebuilt. And here, the narrator is stating that there is one house of the Mukesh and he was proud that it is uh, rebuilt. Uh, we walked down uh, stink, stinking lane. So here the stinking lane means having unpleasant smell. And in that uh, slum area, such type of town uh, where it is means properly it is not managed, social hygiene is not maintained, uh, clumsy atmosphere, smell very unpleasant smell. So like that area here, uh, narrator is uh, talking about more about that area. We walked down a stinking lane, choked with garbage, uh, past homes and remain homes with crumbling walls, oblique doors, no windows, crowded with uh, families of human and animals coexisting in uh, primeval state. So. Uh, Generation by generation, uh, they are living there, overcrowded places and uh, for some you know, windows are not there, it is not properly maintained also, garbage uh, here that is also blocked, means here we can uh, choke all that thing, so um, with crumbling walls, ugly doors, ugly uh, here means uh, tending to more unsteadily from side to side. So the condition of the area, house, windows, everything it is not proper. And then uh, here no windows, crowded with families uh, of humans and animals coexisting. And animals are also there uh, in the same means home or that area. And human they are also because of the space means uh, they are not maintaining the standard of living. Here we can understand. He stops at the door of uh, one such house, um, packs ugly iron door uh, with his foot and pushes it open. We enter half built uh, sack in one part of it, uh, thatched with uh, dead glass in firewood stove or he sits a large vessel of sizzling spin as leaves. So here uh, author is describing the um, that area, the state inside, how it is. And then next here, um, in one part of it, uh, thatch with red glass, firewood stove, over which is large vessel of sizzling spin as leaves on the ground. A large aluminium uh, platters are more chopped with vegetables. All this description it is given. Next word, uh, a frail young woman is cooking uh, the evening meal for the whole family. So here the word frail, 
So friend means that woman's health is also not good, that woman is also weak uh, or uh, having delicate health. So frail woman is cooking the evening meal for the whole family through eyes filled with uh, smoke, see, smiles. And you can understand gastro or something which is modern now we have all the facilities like that. It is not there, smoke is also more there and even though uh, she smiles. She is the wife of Mukesh, elder brother. And again, uh, new character here, author is introducing that uh, Mukesh, elder, uh, Mukesh, elder brother's uh, wife here. No much older in years, she has begun to come, come under respect as a bow. And here, uh, to understand the local color or the language, so here Hindi language it is used, and that is the word bow the daughter-in-law of house, already mm, in charge of three men, her husband Mukesh and their father. So here the family members in that, uh, her husband Mukesh and their father. So when, when the older man enters, she gently withdraws behind the broken wall and brings her well closer to her face. So here you can understand that uh, means male dominated society, orthodox society, it is not allowed to show the uh, face, especially uh, here Babu or we can say the daughter-in-law, uh, they are maintaining such type of respect or the tradition, it is by tradition. So they will uh, hide their face with a frail and then here uh, well closer to her face. As uh, custom demands, daughters-in-law must veil uh, their faces before male elders. In this case, the uh, elder is an impoverished bangle maker. And who is that person? The elder is not that much uh, rich person or respected person, but then also impoverished here it is used the bangle maker despite long years of hard labor, first as a uh, tailor, then the bangle maker, he has failed to renovate a house, uh, sent his two sons to school. All he has managed to do to teach them what he knows, the art of making bangles. So here, what is the their priority? Their priority is to teach them how to make the bangles. So like this here, uh, all the information and indirectly here uh, author is also uh, criticizing that uh, especially about the woman, orthodox family, they are not uh, thinking about the woman empowerment. They are sometimes uh, focusing on the male domination. Whenever there will be somebody elder would come and uh, then uh, she has or the daughter-in-law or Oh, she has to follow all the rituals and uh, she has to well means bring her well closer to the face or she has to hide her face. Then it is his karma, his destiny, says Mukesh grandmother. Again new character that is Mukesh grandmother's character and it is his karma, his destiny. And it is the karma because they are born in the bangle maker's family so it is their karma and they have to do that. Taskaram means here again uh, Hindi word. It is uh, their fate, their work, okay. And it is now their destiny also. Uh, where they will go, nothing it is there for them. No more opportunity, so they have to work in the bangle making industry. So it is the, that is their destiny. Then who has watched uh, her own husband go blind? with the dust from the polishing the glass of bangles and uh, who has coached her husband. Now, due to such type of adverse situation, uh, family members, especially her husband, she, was, she observed that and the husband was slowly, slowly become blind due to such type of condition in that glass furnaces. Uh, polishing the glass bangles. Can a God-given lineage, a ever be broken and here it is not the human made like that or it is not from any person 
here say is reflecting that it is god given language or it is like a legacy that they are following from generation to generation so like this here uh, see implies born in the caste of bangal makers they have seen nothing but bangles in the house in the yard in the every other houses every other yard every street of uh, firozabad uh, spirals of bangles so here author is stating about uh, that line you have to underline underline that born in the caste of bangal makers they have seen nothing but bangles so now they have born so from childhood uh, they will start the same business and they will learn what is the business how to make the bangles and then they will continue in that same business they will not do anything more even though that business may be profitable or may not be profitable but they will be involved in the same business then here some uh, detailing about that here author is providing in that uh, sunny gold paddy green royal blue pink purple mm, every color all out uh, of the seven colors of the rainbow lying uh, mounts in unkept yards so here uh, they have kept all the things uh, like a heap uh, of unkept yards uh, are piled on four wheel hand here hand carts pushed by young men along with the narrow lanes of sandy town so here uh, sandy town means uh, deprived area of the outskirts town and it is not properly managed like it is like a slum area so in dark apartments so apartments means the hut you can uh, you know better about that so such type of area apartments more means it is the area it is constructed okay but uh, not the properly designed means the building properly managed uh, as per the town planning so like that it was not there next not to lights the flame and uh, flicking of oil lamps sit boys and girls with their fa fathers and mothers welding pieces of colored glass into circles of bangles their eyes are mm, eyes are more adjusted to uh, the dark than the light outside so here because of such type of working continuously working in such type of clumsy atmosphere for nonsense uh, too much high temperature their eyes are adjusted with that and now uh, their eyes do again damage then here that is why they often end up losing their eyesight before they become adults then here savita's character uh, here new character it is uh, there savita a young girl uh, in drab pink dress sits alongside sides an elderly woman uh, shoulder pieces of glass as her husband move mechanically like the uh, tongs of machine uh, i wonder if she knows sanctity means the sacredness of bangles she helps make so here we can understand now the savita's new character here author introduced and that young girl in drab uh, pink dress uh, sits alongside an elderly woman and here what is the new thing here author wish to highlight through this and that is here um, new thing it is a reflected that is it means suhag specially here it symbolizes an indian woman suhag auspiciousness in marriage so here marriage system is also indirectly criticized that they are thinking about the suhag auspiciousness of the suhag but here one more important thing that is it will drown in her suddenly one day when her head is draped with the red veil her hands dried red with henna and red bangles rolled um, onto her wrist and you know that uh, woman there 
wearing the bangles and different different color bangles and by ritual by tradition uh, they have to respect and it is again the auspiciousness the symbol of the suha so means after the death they are breaking the bangles all that things you have seen so we can understand that uh, they are in such type of places and they have to follow all the traditions like her old woman beside her who became um, one many years ago she still has bangles on her wrist but no light in her eyes so bangles are there on the wrist but eyesight is not not there means it she becomes the blind so here in the directly it is ek waqt sir par khana bhi nahi khaya she says so now again here uh, use of hindi code hindi language here it is mentioned that they are still in the granny part the whole family uh, it is working in the uh, such type of finances or the bengal industry but they are not getting uh, one time also enough food to eat so this is the tragedy here ek waqt sher par khana bhi nahi khaya she says in a voice a drain of joy she has not enjoyed even one food meal in her entire life time so because of such type of grinding poverty she has not enjoyed anything uh, means specially about the food here full means and means how we are getting enough food every day but here it is uh, mentioned that she has not enjoyed even one full meal of her entire life time that's what she has read her husband an old man with a flowing beard says i know nothing except bangles all i have done to make a house for a family to live in and what is the credit that person here is mentioning that i have only done one thing that constructed one house for the family nothing more than but they are in such a grinding power still they are not getting one time also enough meal to eat so this is here we can think that uh, very dangerous situation we can observe if you will not get the breakfast one time breakfast then uh, how you will react you can understand but they are not getting one time also full meal uh, to eat so you can understand their condition and their uh, health conditions also you can understand but they are working continuously but they are not getting profit out of that then hearing him one wonders if she has achieved uh, here if he has achieved what uh, what many have failed in their lifetime he has a roof over his head and he is proud of that he has the roof over his head means he has that house to, so they can live in that house and that is that that uh, he person is proud of all that things the cry of not having money to do anything except uh, carry on the business of making bangles not um, enough to eat uh, rings in every home the young men echo the lament of their elders the little has moved with time it seems in firozabad the years of mind numbing toil have killed all initiative and ability to drink so here all that things are mind numbing to it means excessively boring things every day uh, they have to go again in the dingy cells or the area and in that for nonsense and again uh, the welding classes all are producing that things uh, bangles and then due to all such type of uh, conditions they have to Uh, lose their eyesight their condition health uh, condition is also not good so we can understand then here uh, up till this suppose uh, we will think uh, then author focused on four or five things i will just highlight that four or five things so here author focused about the one important thing that is the mukesh is rebellious uh, child and he this mukesh is working or mukesh is thinking about his own life he the mukesh is thinking about his own dream and mukesh is thinking about his own new business new task so here mukesh insists on being his own master 
I will be a motor mechanic. So he is dreaming different, is thinking different because no one from his family or nearby they are thinking like this. They all are involved in that. And here it is mentioned that twenty thousand children they are working. So you can understand that it is not uh, one or two families issue. It is issue of so many families. And the condition it is totally adverse. Their eyesight become weak because of uh, such type of furnaces and uh, adverse situation, adverse atmosphere. And here indirectly author is focusing about the, they are not getting uh, one time also uh, proper meal to eat. And here in Hindi that it is mentioned that ek se var khana bhi nahi khaya. Like that here statements if we will refer, we can understand. But again here we have uh, already discussed that even though all that things, the suha or the will, I mean the daughter-in-law, she has to follow the traditions. Means all that, even though all the things are adverse, then also uh, all that traditions, everything, it is uh, still as it is. So we have to think about all the aspects. Means here author uh, had given some detailings also in that uh, sunny gold, paddy green, royal green, like that. Everything here it is described, but uh, author is trying to say uh, some means uh, here author is stating some facts also, and that reality it is here reflected. The real things means in reality they are not at all happy, even though the, everyone is working on that. So indirectly we will analyze this situation that they are not the skilled workers. And because of that, uh, their condition it is like this. If they would be uh, skilled, if then they will organize their business properly, and they would think about the benefit, this profit, and then their business would be good. But because of the um, education, most of them they would be illiterate, so they are not understanding how to do the business. They are just working in that and afterwards in the next uh, plot development. It is uh, specially mentioned about the saukars, everyone, how they are harassing them and policemen also, bureaucrats, how uh, they are imposing all the things on them. So they are not able to, uh, to come together and work uh, as a, and they would not start uh, that Bengali industry as a cooperative uh, societies or cooperative things. It means how we are sugar meals or we are uh, enjoying as a cooperative sector in Maharashtra. So like that, they could also do, but here it is reflected that due to uh, such type of lack of education and if some, suppose they would say that, okay, uh, you can come together, but again, uh, they would not have certificate or bank will also not trust on them. So, so many issues are there. So remaining things we will discuss in the uh, next video. So be safe and enjoy learning uh, English. Thank you.